Hello, and welcome to this video on working with Microsoft's Visual Studio Code application. My name is Kyle Pugh, and I'm gonna take you through four really quick tips on getting you quickly up and running, writing HTML, utilizing VS Code. So I said four tips, but really, really five. The, the first step that we need to do here is download and install Microsoft's VS Code application. Now, if you've never used this before, great, right? I'm gonna give you these quick tips, but first I'll give you reference to the website where you can download it if you'd like to. So let me just open up my browser here. There it is. So I'm gonna zoom in on the uh, URL just for your reference there. That came in kind of low, right? Let's try that one more time. There we go. So the address, really simple, https colon slash slash code.visualstudio.com. So you can visit that now. You can pause the video if you'd like to. You decide you want to download this. Uh, or you can watch me go through the four little quick steps here or tips as you work with Visual Studio Code. And then you can decide if you want to download it. But I can, I can guarantee you, once you see these four steps, you're going to want to work with this application. It's going to streamline your efforts working with HTML files. So once you get out to this page, you'll see a big blue button there. Uh, for me personally, I'm working on a Windows system. So for this demonstration, I've downloaded and installed the Windows version, and that's what I'll be demonstrating here. If you're on a Mac, you do have the option for the Mac version. If you're on Linux, you've got the option right there as well. So I'll get rid of that. Like I mentioned, I've already downloaded it and installed it. Here it is. So this is Microsoft Visual Studio Code or what you might hear referred to as VS Code. So the first tip that I wanna bring your attention to here is creating a connection between this development environment, this editor and our development folder that's sitting on your computer or out on a server someplace. Now, if you've been through my introduction to HTML web development, of course, I created a folder on my desktop. I called it root, put subfolders in there, put all our pages and images and, and so on inside that folder. And we continually referenced that folder. And we were just using Notepad as our HTML editor. Okay. Well, one of the benefits of using something like VS Code is we can create a connection between the application and our folder, our root folder. That way it's all referenced and available to us right here in one environment. So really quickly to create the connection, all I'm gonna do is go to my file tab. I'm gonna go down to open folder. Now for me, I created a folder prior to this recording on my desktop called root. I can select that and I can select folder and it will create the connection. Now, if you don't have a root folder out there, once you use the open folder command, you can hit the new folder button, give it a name, and then select that folder. It'll take just a moment and VS Code will refresh and you'll now have a connection to that folder. You'll notice here on the left-hand side, we got a nice little toolbar here uh, for various different tools. But the first one that we have there is called our Explorer. And it'll give you reference to your folder and any content, subfolders, files, and so on that are found within that directory. So that's it, really simple to do. Just file, open folder, point it to your root or to your development folder, and you're good to go. All made available to you right here. You don't have to jump back and forth between your editor and your folder structure. It's all available to you right here. And you'll see some nice additional perks as you've made that connection and you start working with your files. For example, I wanna make a reference to an image. I can bring in the, the image tag. I can use the source attribute. And as I start to type into the source, it'll search my directory and give me references to folders, subfolders, and files within that connection. So that's really the first thing there and very cool. It's something small, but very cool. And again, to streamline your efforts working uh, with your HTML files. Now, the next thing we wanna do is create an HTML document that would then store inside of our root. Now, built into VS Code, we have what are called image snippets. And these snippets are gonna help streamline our efforts in writing our HTML. Watch this. So first step, I'm gonna create a file. I've got my root. Let's make sure that that's the one that's selected. I'm gonna go off to the right and I'm gonna click this little button for new file. It's just a little piece of paper with a plus sign. I'll give that a click. 
It's open up someplace for me to name this file. I'll call it index, and I'm going to give it the extension .html. And you'll notice, as soon as I put the HTML in there, it changed the little icon to the left, just denoting that this is an HTML file. So I'll hit my Enter key. It's created that file. It is now open over here inside of a tab, and I can start banging out my HTML. Now, we got our HTML page. It's our index.html page. And I need the kind of standard HTML tags to go into this page. Well, what are those, right? Now I got to remember, we need our doc type. We need our HTML tag. We need our title tag. Oh, wait, I forgot one there. We need our head tag, right? I need to remember what tags we need to put into our page. And I need to type that all out. That's time consuming and a lot of stuff that I'm trying to hold on to inside my noggin, right? Well, within this editor, we have what are called Emmet snippets. Uh, E-M-M-E-T. Emmet, Emmet Snippets. So here, if I just do an explanation mark, just like that, it opens up our IntelliSense menu. And the first option there is single explanation mark is gonna give me an Emmet abbreviation for all of this content here. So that's all I need to do. Explanation mark, hit my tab key, and I've now got all that content right there. I don't have to type it out by hand. I don't have to remember it. I'm going to forget something. I'm going to misspell something. It's just, ah, it's just a lot of typing just for the default kind of boilerplate HTML tags. So explanation mark, bang, hit your tab key, done. It's got it all right there for you. Very cool. Again, quick, easy to do, and it's going to save you so much time. All right. So we've created a connection between VS Code and our development folder. And we've created a file and we've dropped in the default HTML for our file using the explanation mark. There we have it. Now let's take this a step further. One of the other benefits of working with language editors, HTML or other languages, is the IntelliSense and how it'll help you bring in your tags. So the next thing we wanna take a look at here is some of the IntelliSense that this application contains as far as HTML is concerned. So I'm gonna drop down to my body tag. And let's say the first thing I want to do here is bring in an H1 tag. Well, normally I would do bracket and H1, close the bracket. Then I would have to do the closing tag. And then I put my content in there. Well, within VS Code, if I just type in H, it'll bring up my IntelliSense. And you can see it's bringing in all these H elements that I can then bring into my page. Well, let's finish that off. I'll say H1. Now I'm going to hit my tab key. That's the tag I want and it's opened it and closed it for me. So now I can bring in, uh, this is my my header. That's it. I'll drop down. Maybe my next thing I want to do is bring in a, ooh, I want to bring in a paragraph tag, but I want this paragraph to have a specific style associated with this so we can then format it and do, do whatever styling we want on our P tags, right? Or on this particular paragraph. So I can say, let's bring in our P tag. Okay, if I hit my tab key right now, it'll bring in the P tag and it'll open and close it for me and I can start banging out my, my paragraph content. Well, if I want to add a class, a style class to this, then I can do dot and then I can name the class or the style. So let's just call this uh, main para. All right, I'm gonna hit my tab key. It's brought in the open and closing P tag, and it brought in the class attribute and brought in that name for me. Done, right? So cool, so cool. Now, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna get too giddy about this. So here's one more. Let's say on this particular page, right below our H1 tag, we've got three paragraphs. So now I, I need to create three more P tags and they should all have the same class. They should all be main para. That way we can style them all the same, okay? These three paragraphs. Well, rather than retyping all of that, which really wasn't that much to begin with, right? Because of the IntelliSense. P dot name the style, you're good to go. Well, to make this even quicker, if I click into the tag, it really doesn't matter where, just as long as I'm in the tag, on my keyboard, I'm gonna do Alt, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key, I'm gonna press the Shift key, and I'm gonna hit the down arrow. And this will copy those tags. 
How cool is that? Right, imagine you're creating a, an unordered list and you've got all these LI tags for all your line items inside there, right? Your list items. Then I could type bang out one, alt shift down arrow, and it will do it all for you. So cool. So cool. That's awesome. All right, that's enough right there. So we've got connection to our folder, to our development folder. We've got the creation of the file and the boilerplate uh, image tag, just explanation park, tab, get all your default tags in there. And we've got some very awesome, very slick IntelliSense to help us generate our HTML content. Now I'm gonna save it. I'm just gonna hit Control S here. Now, the last thing that I wanna introduce you here is the VS Code extensions that are available to you. Now I'm gonna introduce you to one extension, something that's not available by default as you download VS Code, but something you can download and add to the development environment. Now the one that I wanna take out here, uh, take a look at here is called the live server. Now right now, if I save this and I hit F5 on my keyboard, it's gonna give me an, a menu at the top for select my environment where I wanna be able to preview the page. So F5 is just a shortcut key. I can say I want Edge. So I'll launch that and it'll take a moment. Got it. Uh, take a moment to open up there. And I've now got my page open inside the browser. So I can then position my two, my development editor and my page next door to each other. But you'll notice that the file is referencing the literal file, the path on my computer. Well, if I make an update here to my page, Let's just move this over. I get into my HTML code here and I brought it, bring in some paragraph content. So I'll just say, this is a paragraph. Hmm, if I could spell correctly. I'll save that. Now, after I save, it didn't change my page. I've got to go to the browser window, I've got to refresh, and then I get that content. And that's great, right? That, that works great. But it's a couple of additional steps. I got to bang on my keyboard, put the content in. Then I got to go to the browser. I got to refresh, right? Got to play that whole game back and forth. Well, with this extension, Live Server, it's automatic. You open up the page utilizing the Live Server extension and it's live updates. You make the update inside of VS Code and it automatically updates the browser as well. All right, take a look at this. I've already got this installed. Uh, but to give you reference to it, I can go to that little toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen. I'm going to go to the last one there, which is called Extensions. So I'll give that a click. Up inside the search bar, you can search for Live Server. Oh, I got to spell it right. Live Server. Let's try that again. Live. There we are. All right. Live Server. S-E-R-V-E-R. -E I spelled that right. So it's right there. I can give that a click. It'll open up a nice little page that talks all about it, benefits, give you some preview, just talk about the extension itself. And then one of the options towards the top is gonna be able to install or download the extension. Now I've already got it installed on my system. It's right there. You can see that mine currently says disable. I don't wanna do that, but if you like this, you can install it right here. Now, once it's installed, here's the magic. I'm gonna go back to my Explorer Here's my index. I'm going to right click on my index page. And once the live server is installed, you will have an option for open with live server. I can give that a click. I'll give it a moment. All right, there it is. I can close this old one here. Remember this one, this one gave me my path to my folder on my computer, on my desktop. Let's get rid of that. This one looks just like what we saw before, but you'll notice the path there. It's now using the local machine at port 5500 to get reference to our index.html page. So now, if I go back to my index page, here we go. Let's get to my second paragraph there. And I'm just gonna bang out some text. This is awesome. So I'll make that change inside there and I'll save the document. So currently, you'll notice this little circle icon there. That denotes that this page is has been edited. It hasn't been saved yet. So I'll go ahead and save the page. And as I do that, it automatically updates the browser window. 
So cool. So cool. There we go. I'll save that and it updates the browser. All right. Four little things get you quickly up and running with Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Create the connection to your folder. Utilize the image snippets to get your boilerplate HTML tags in there. Uh, let's see, using the IntelliSense to help you bring in those tags, create styles associated with your tags, and much more. I've only given you a, really a small snippet of what's available here. And then extensions. The power of bringing additional items, add-ons, extensions into the application and doing things like live server. So cool. So I hope this has got you excited. I'm going to be adding to my introduction to HTML course. I'm going to bring in uh, topics on CSS and JavaScript. And for those lectures, I will be utilizing Microsoft's Visual Studio Code application. So cool. It's going to streamline our efforts, make things so, so simple for us. So hope you're excited about this. If you haven't done it already, download it, try it out yourself.